Tiny taboos. Tiny taboos. Tiny taboos. Hey guys. Hi, Auntie Allie. Hi, Auntie Allie. Hi, Ma. You did the exact same faces you did the first time. Did we? Yep. Yeah, but Mama didn't. I don't even know what face I made. <laughs> I promise they were the exact same. You both went. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that face. Mama didn't. She was like. I didn't make that face. <laughs> I didn't make a Scrooge McDuck face. <laughs> You're the worst kid I know. Stop it. How was everybody's day today? It was good. It was a good day. Welcome back to whatever month this is for Tiny Taboos. May? This will be for May. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to go there. I think. I don't know. We don't have to talk about our days if we don't want to. I'm confused. I know. Okay. We'll step away from the dates. It's March. No, it's not. Yeah. It's April now. Oh. Still. You are confused. Real. A-P-R-I-L. Good work. Thank you. How do you spell May? (laughs) M-A-Y. Oh, oh, oh. Before we do our tiny taboos, questions. You know what I think would be really great, especially because someone could really use it right now? Hmm. I think it would be really cool if you and I showed Auntie Allie how... To ground ourselves. We ground ourselves. If you want to be our little grounding instructor, you can lead us in a little grounding meditation in our in our grounding experience and teach Auntie Ellie how we do that. Okay. Auntie Ellie, would you like to do that with us? I would love to. Fantastic. All right. So is it okay if I just explain what we're going to do and then you can get us through the nine? Very cool. Here we go. So we use this grounding technique every morning and it has really helped a lot in a lot of things and it's something that Tiny and I do together and it's really cool and it's a really positive experience for us to start our day with every morning and we've actually started using it with the little boy that we carpool with and he loves it too and I just think it's the coolest thing and I've taught it to a couple other people. I actually learned this from my Reiki master in my Reiki 1 certification class so this is just our version of that grounding meditation but I love it and it works really really well for us on our on the go 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 busy schedule and I'm really proud of this thing that we've created for ourselves and I'm really excited to share it with you guys so I'm gonna explain this in layman's terms and not in super duper hippy dippy spiritual terms because I don't want anybody to get kind of freaked out by that idea. I I don't love that. I think that this is a practice that anybody can use for themselves regardless of their religious or spiritual belief. So I'm not going to present it in that way and I don't want anybody to hear me presenting it in that way, but this is something that's incredibly spiritual for me and my daughter. So that's where it's coming from for me. Right, Tiny? Right. All right. So in order for us to successfully do this, we need to imagine ourselves as a straight line. We need to imagine our spine being entirely straight. That is, in essence, our chakras being aligned. There's a lot more that goes into it on a much deeper level, but again, this is just in the event of a healthy grounding practice that I believe anybody can do. There is a lot of spiritual work that goes with it, and I'm not denying or ignoring that, but I still think it's a good practice. The other thing that I really want us to think about as we take this journey is a rope tied around our waist. Essentially, that rope is tied to an anchor. The anchor is not heavy. It just anchors us. It is just a tether. So you can carry it with you and it doesn't weigh anything, but when we need it, it will be there and it will be usable. The only other thing that I want to talk about really, really high level is there are other versions of this meditation that we do when things are a lot heavier than on a morning where we feel very grounded and secure in ourselves already, but we just kind of re-up on our spiritual security. So the longer version of this includes a much more exploratory, in-depth look at the core of the earth which is really what we're going to talk about through this meditation. But 
I just am being really upfront. We're doing uh, the nine step version of this meditation that we do and the one that the kids love to do in the morning because it just goes really fast and it's fun. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Are you ready, Auntie Allie? Yep, I'm actually familiar with a lot of the concepts you listed already due to having dabbled in some Qigong in the past, so. Ooh, I love that news. That makes me so happy, seriously. So I think that this is going to be a really fantastic experience for all of us, and I know that I'm going to tap into you when we get to the gold. That's where we're going is the gold, right, Tiny? What, what is the gold? Can you tell Auntie Allie what the gold is? And also our listeners, because it's not just Auntie Allie. The gold is um, the center of the earth, and the gold is where we like to relax and keep all of our happy things inside. Perfect. That is correct. That's, that was great, Tiny. I like to explain my gold as my core. It is the things that make me feel the safest and the most secure and the most true version of myself. For anybody who doesn't speak the language that Tiny and Allie and I speak, that's what that means to me. So the things that genuinely bring me peace and happiness and comfort, that's what I'm trying to achieve as I explore the different levels of the earth that we're going to go through in this meditation that's what I'm trying to get to is that place and we call it the gold and it's the most beautiful place that there is. So I'm really excited for Tiny to teach you guys how we get to it for ourselves. Miss Tiny, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Where do we start? We start at the grass. Okay, so toes in the grass. We're gonna wiggle our toes, feel the wiggles, feel the toes. It's wet. It's wet, it's cold, it's kind of squishy because it's spring so there's mud. Feel the mud between your toes. Really visualize it. And as we do this meditation, we're going to take big breaths. Big breaths with our bellies, in through our nose, and out through our mouth. Every time you exhale, I want you to really focus on something that you're feeling that you want to get rid of. Something that you feel sitting in you that you just don't want to carry. Maybe that's stress. Maybe that's anxiety. Maybe that's whatever. Maybe it's like a random thought about some dude who made a stupid comment at you. I don't really care. But just whatever you don't want to have on you right now. When you exhale, think about blowing that out of your body. That is what propels us forward to the gold. All right, here we go. Everybody's toes are in the grass. We're about to take a big breath in. Where are we going first, Tiny? We are going down to the river. Down to the river. As we go through the river, we're going to let the river water just wash over us and clean us, wash away. We're going to wash all the bad stuff off. That's right. So here we go. Big breath in and through the river we go. What's next, Tiny? We're going to the tectonic plates. Tectonic plates, here we come. What's next, Tiny? The gold. Welcome to the gold. So when you're in the gold, take as long as you need to to get there. If it doesn't happen in three breaths, that's okay. We've practiced this for a long time, so we're really accustomed to it. But if it takes you 20 breaths or 10 breaths or whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you get there. And when you get there, you will feel a sense of wholeness. You will just feel content in that exact place. Do not let any negativity come into the gold ever. Reserve this space only for pure beauty and love and things that are important to you. What do we do in the gold, Tiny? We like to play in the gold, and we like to eat the gold, and we like to use it like shampoo. Um, we like to use it as body wash. We like to use it as many things. Spoon for nose spray. We, as nose spray? <laughs> I always say breathe it in, but I guess nose spray works. <laughs> 
When you were saying shampoo tiny, I thought you were going to say champagne, and I was a little concerned for a second. I mean, I use it as champagne. (laughs) So really, the important thing about being in the gold is when tiny and I talk about it and recognize it, it feels like sand to us. But it might not feel that way to you. Maybe it feels like something else, and that's okay. But for us, it's a very sand-like substance. So we like to play with it. We like to throw it like like a snowball. We like to build stuff with it, breathe it in, get it in your eyelashes. I say all kinds of shit when I'm, I'm trying to explain. Just absorb it. As word. Thank you. It can't hurt you. It's nothing but love and light and your happiest things. So just breathe it in. Let it absorb into every atom of your existence. That's, that's what we mean when we say breathe it in. That's what I'm talking about. So what do we do now that we've played in the gold? We um, take our anchors and drop them down. And then we like to secure them with the gold like you're building a sandcastle. But mm-hmm. you use the gold as glue to mm-hmm. glue it down. Then we thank our anchor. That's right. We drop We secure. And thank. And thank. All right. So are we ready for dropping? Everybody, get your anchor. Yep. Ready? Drop. Now what? Secure. And then? Think. All right. Thank you, Anchor. Thank you, Anchor. You have to thank your Anchor Auntie Allie. Hi. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Anchor. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. (laughs) Okay. Excellent. So now... Now that we're all uh, present and accounted for, and Auntie Allie has joined us. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, how do we get out of the gold? How do we get back to the surface? What do we do? How do we come back to our physical selves, Tiny? We like to take three more breaths, and then we like to climb up. And then we like to climb the trees to the top of the trees. Then we like to go to the top of the clouds and then heaven. So I'm just going to explain that. She did it absolutely perfectly. I'm just going to say it a little different. We do bring ourselves up out of the gold by focusing on moving back through the levels of the planet and through the atmosphere, basically. We do that in our nine by focusing on things above the ground to specifically pull us up. We like to focus on the tops of the trees and then the clouds and then the heavens. And heavens can mean anything. Again, this is in a non-spiritual sense. This is just in a practice sense. So that could mean up in the sky. That can mean out in space. That can mean anything that is greater and above us. The intention is... To just be bigger than ourselves, really. To give energy back to the universe to help us stay within our own energy. Creating a bubble as we breathe out. We pull the energy around us down back into us, ourselves. So imagine your hands moving up like a tree as you breathe in. And your hands coming out as the tree blooms while you breathe out. And you pull that down and around you to create a nice little protection for yourself that keeps our energy all within us. Right, Tiny? Mm-hmm. Excellent. So, are we ready to get out of the gold? Yeah. Auntie Allie, are you ready for this mission? Yep. All right. Tops of the trees. Here we go. What's next, Tiny? Clouds. And lastly? Heavens.
Do you feel grounded? Yeah. Auntie Allie? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Thank you for letting us share that with you. That's really important to us. And dear listeners, thank you for letting us share that with you as well. I know that's not a normal tiny taboos, but I think that's a really, really important practice that we have. And I think it could help a lot of other kids if it were something that they practiced as well. And listeners. I agree. I think meditation and learning calming techniques is really important for anybody, honestly. I agree completely. Okay, so that was so cool, and I'm so glad we got to do that together. Tiny, do you have a Tiny Taboos for us today? Yeah. All right, Miss Tiny, let's hear your question. My question is, can boys have baby showers? Auntie Allie, you're the only one here who has a son. Tiny, do you remember Moose having a baby shower and you being there and eating cupcakes? I'm sorry that you received my sarcasm at your age. This is so cruel of me. I love you. My answer to your question is is yes. Dear God, (laughs) listeners, I deserve all the chastisement that's about to come. Talk about God. (laughs) I don't say that. Shut up. That's not what I meant. Auntie Allie just went full Auntie Allie on you. Oh, that made me so happy. The gloves came off. Your size and age did not matter to her. Yes, on recording. So people know it happens. Yes, Tiny. Little boys can have baby showers. What makes you think that they can't? I'm curious. Well, I don't know. Okay, so here's my question to your question. Do you mean, do baby boys get celebrated at baby showers? Or do you mean, can men throw a baby shower for themselves? Which which way is your question really being worded? The first one you said. Should baby boys be celebrated in baby showers? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Without question, baby boys should be celebrated in baby showers. Is it because there's decorations and stuff and bows? I'm so confused by this. Yeah. What part of this is not is not boy friendly? I don't I love you. I love you. I love you, you weird, weird little baby. Did we answer your question today? Yes. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate your question. And you know what? I recognize that there are probably a lot of other gender stereotypes out there that kids have a lot of questions about. So I think it's actually a really valid question, even though it was a really kind of silly one. And my favorite part was that Auntie Ellie chewed your ass about it. That was that was fantastic. I loved it. That was so great. We're going to get so much hate mail. (laughs) And then I'm over here just enjoying it. Yep. Yep, we're terrible moms. It's fine. (laughs) I love you, Tiny. I love you too, Auntie Allie. I love you both. Love you too, Mama. And on that, Tiny Taboos. Tiny Taboos. Tiny Taboos.